Hello everyone. Today, I'll show you how to add motion to a stationary object using Photoshop. I'm not going to add a driver because the video would then be too long. To begin with, import your picture into Photoshop. Then select the Quick Selection tool. When you are done, select the option named Select Subject. Then go to Select and Mask, or go to the menu Select, and choose Select and Mask. If your picture is not red like mine, then go to View and select Overlay. I'm going to use most of the time the third tool. The second one is the Refine Edge tool. The first one is the Quick Selection tool is to select larger areas. On the top you have a plus and minus. The plus is to remove parts of the red layer. So it's not going to be included in the selection. To add something to the selection, press the minus and paint it on with your mouse and your left button pressed. When you're done with your selection then go over to the details. The windows in this situation. When you are done, then press on OK. Select your Quick Selection tool again, then right-click and choose Select Inverse. Then go to Filter then choose Blur, and then Motion Blur. Choose your angle for the blur. I'm going to use 0 degrees, the distance option is to define how much motion blur should be added. Then press on OK. Now we are going to add the effect that makes the wheel spin. To select the wheels I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to click right and select transform selection, and then select warp. Then adjust it to your shape, here it's the car wheel. Then go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. Then go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. Select Spin, and then choose how strong the effect should be, then press on OK.
With the magic lasso tool, I'm going to select the small showing parts from the wheels on the other side. To get this tool, right-click on the lasso and select it. When I'm done selecting the wheel, I'm going to add a bit of lens blur, so I can blur out the tire tread. You can find lens blur in the menu effect, blur, lens blur. Use the radius slider to add some. I'm going to do the same for the other one. On the front right one, I just need to select it and add some lens blur and we are done. I hope you liked it. Consider liking and subscribing. See you.